Hello there everyone, and welcome back to Empire Total War with the Imperial Destroyer mod. Last time around we kicked France out of India, the short-lived colony here, and they were able to recruit only one single unit of their East India Company. Since then, I've actually gone ahead and signed a peace treaty with France, so we're at peace with them. I didn't even have to give up. Lower Louisiana, so I'm still in control of that region. In the meanwhile, uh, some stuff has happened. The Mughal Empire has declared war on us again. I've managed to set up now two East India armies, similar to the man almost, just that the one is a little bit more experienced than the other. So this is the new army set together from the troops that I had in this region, then moved around, added cavalry and howitzer, and they're currently on their way to Nagpur, if that's how you pronounce it. So this is currently the situation along the coast of India. So we've got Mysore fleets over here, we got Mughal fleet over here. So far it hasn't actually attacked the port, which I thought it might do to attack the commercial port of Calcutta, but it hasn't. I'm hoping that sometime in the future I'll be able to bring my big home fleet over here and sink this fleet, if nothing more than to get the Mughals to start recruiting uh, proper troops. At this, because I've been, I've had my spies running all over India trying to find where they have a concent, where they have a concentration of troops. But I haven't, I haven't been able to find it. Now they have been able to bring in some kind of reinforcements over here, so that's good. And this is where we're going to have today's battle. But we also have a war with Spain. And as I said, I wanted to take all their colonies or all their islands to start with anyway. So I've actually also been wondering where Spain keeps its armies. So I've had a spy run around and this is the highest concentration I've f of troops I've found so far. It could be that they have more to the north, possibly fighting against the Native Americans. I've also landed a spy over here. They haven't even built up the um, the port here. So it seems like Spain is kind of lagging behind in an odd way. So I had my spy move through all here, didn't find any troops. He moved on to here and just recently they have actually been starting to recruit troops here. So I'm not entirely sure what they're planning with these troops, but we'll see. So now for my moves, I have been able to... Um, I don't know, the thing is, the kind of an odd thing, because as you remember, there was an army here, or hope may, you might remember, but there was a small Spanish force right here when I took the, I took the uh, capital of the region, Havana. And uh, they were just sitting there. They didn't move to take Havana. They just sat there. And I didn't bother them. I had a lot of other things to do. Set up, you know, fixing the economy because of stability problems. And then you know, merging the armies down in India. Then one of the armies got typhoid or something. Half of them died. So we had to postpone the attack against the Mughal Empire and so on. And the Spanish just kept sitting here. But then, all of a sudden... Cuba was hit by a hurricane, and that also meant that my invasion force that I had planned for these guys that was situated over here to move over to the next island, they were uh, had to be postponed that move as well, because the hurricane took out quite a few people. After that, the Spanish force disappeared. Now, it could very well be that it would pick up by this navy. I believe this is the navy that was sitting here for quite a while. They picked up and moved somewhere. But it could also be the case that sitting on the island without proper food and so on, it could be that the hurricane took whatever was left and just threw it in the sea. So that's an interesting way, almost like our own um, divine wind. 
it, but not as spectacular maybe as the one that the Japanese got. Um, but yeah, the Spanish did just blew away. Maybe it just blew away their uniforms and they decided, you know what, mm, I don't want to die anyways. It's kind of a bloody mod anyways. So why not go to uh, uh, Port-au-Prince? There, I heard they're building a uh, theater there. Could I take up work there? Blend in with the rest of the Spanish colonists on the island? You know, we are, there is a food shortage, quite a large one in fact, because Spanish fleet attacked my fishing port. Anyways, enough of that. But anyways, uh, they're far, far away. Uh, let's see if I can... I can't remember what it says. The I was trying to think of a joke there with... Um, what's it called? The one that... The Wizard of Oz... There's no place like home. Yes, maybe they blew all the way back to Spain. They clicked their heels together and disappeared. Could no, it isn't this fleet or this army because um, they have other troops. Or maybe I should go back and take a look because oh, maybe that's what happened. They blew over to the other island. Anyways, we didn't reach, but I'm I'm bypassing these, going direct for the the area right here or the town because well. There's uh, no forces here anyways. And then the second one, which uh, now was able to move from Lower Louisiana, is going to strike over here. We're going to get them out of the boat. And then attack. And there's only 1,200 defenders against 4,000 of mine, plus howitzer and all that. There's no way they're going to stand, and it's kind of wasteful to do the, this battle for this episode. So, there we go. Occupy. Very nice. Rebuild this. Yet another part of the sugar trade falls under our control. We almost hold all the sugar islands. I should actually... I could actually start moving this fleet, couldn't I? I want to move this guy over to the port just to protect it. The thing is, interesting thing, why didn't I just move him? Because there is, of course, you can move in between these three islands. Um, the reason why is because the lowered movement range that the mod has enforced, you can't actually move within these two. Now, it, it is possible in a normal game to move in between these three islands, but you can't in this mod because it's... Like the movement range is literally too too little to actually move through that, and even with the upgraded road, I'm thinking I'm actually going to move this one to India so I can sink that Mughal fleet because I want I want to see us go through. I want to see my mighty fleet, Dutch flags waving high on the ships as we pass in the middle of this burning wrecks on both sides of this massive fleet going in, just absolutely wiping everything out of this uh, little Mughal fleet. The biggest ship they have is 28-gun frigate. It means that I, you know, and all of these have open, big open decks, and soon enough I'll have improved... Oh, I already have the improved canister, improved grape shot. Imagine that. Just riding through here, just wiping out the crews. With all of that said, there's nothing more for it than to do today's battle, which is right here. Now, I'm going to move in here. They're going to intercept me, and um, there's going to be a battle. Unfortunately, with intercept battles, when they come out of a fort... Or when they're in the fort, the, the, you still fight on the fort map rather than fighting outside, as it would be as they m would assume, I would assume, move out of the fort to intercept me. But they still get the fort to fight from, which is kind of odd. Yeah, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Well, uh. Well, attack. Incidentally, this uh, um, when I first attacked, I attacked with both armies down here. They weren't really as fully built up. I intended to take this, and then from here, 
from Hyderabad, I th thought. I build the cannons and the cavalry to improve the second army and then they would diverge. The thing is, as soon as I moved into this region, they were suffering from some kind of plague. So we had to move out again, lest we wanted to be absolutely shredded by the plague. Anyways, 6,000 Dutchmen. Well, half-ish is Dutch. Uh, against about 7,000 Indians. A lot of melee units. A lot of elephants. A lot of cavalry. It's going to be an interesting fight. Let's see. I think they're going to be more aggressive pushing out of the fort than they have in, in previous battles. We'll see. Hopefully they'll push out completely and we'll have a battle. Like a proper field battle. But we'll see as we go in. So without further ado, let's go ahead and fight the battle of Hyderabad. Simple setup. The army split on either side. We've got the bigger part over here. That's only one extra unit of sepoys. The other part over here. Equal size cannons in the middle. I'm hoping to use this area right here for my cannons. We're going to move up. If the enemy comes out, they have to go down in the valley and then up the hill to get to us. Uh, reinforcements, hopefully, will turn up. Well, given the location of the fort, where my army attacked and where my army started, I start my all my troops were strung out along here. The reinforcements from the little town with the elephants would be coming somewhere down here and then the main portion of the reinforcements would be coming from over here where the other town is. With that said though, let's go ahead and start. Don't really like the weather here, that's gonna make it harder to actually see the battle with fog. Sometimes though it kind of it kind of changes for the uh, Replay, so w I could actually get nice weather for the replay, but who knows? So we're gonna move up the troops to place them at least slightly in front of my cannons. Cavalry, we can put them on the hill here. So looking at the map real quick. I can see that cavalry is already coming out of the fort and is going for my artillery. Damn. They're quick. Hidden by fog. Uh, I notice one of the reinforcement armies coming in from there, just as I said, and looks like we have something moving in over there somewhere. If they had pushed real hard that cavalry they could have caught us quite off guard and killed my cannons. Okay. Sounds like a charge. Can I get my troops in order? Ready to fire. We're gonna have to halt here. We've got some shots coming in. Wait for it. Get one infantry up on the hill. Are they gonna come up the hill now? Yes. No. Yeah. Cavalry units charge. I'll have one sepoy come up behind. Support. We've got some fire coming in. Might be dangerous to move the howitzer this close. But I'm confident that two of my cav- Oh shit. That's a lot more cavalry. I'm gonna have to set up these cannons as soon as possible. We're gonna need those sepoys up on the hill. Quickly as possible I'm gonna start moving the armies I need to keep an eye on whatever elephants coming out from that side 
We still have two cavalry units. Not really enough though to stop bloody elephants. Three units to be moved towards the fort. One turned that way. Two units backing up the main force with one backing that side and then we've got the cavalry on the flank. Cavalry is doing fine and we're actually slaughtering the enemy cavalry. What are you guys doing? You will have to hold fire because I think you're shooting into the back of these guys. It's kind of hard to see with all this fog. We are beating them back. Somehow I've lost a howitzer. I don't know how. He was lost all the way back here. Oh. Are there guys on the walls? No, nope, they don't. Okay, for now it looks fine because... Uh, nice volley. Okay, they will push back. Hold your fire, hold your fire. Try not to kill the rest of my cavalry. We lost quite a few cavalry troopers. Move to the side. My artillery is blasting the gate. I wanna... We're gonna have to move them forward. I wanna be blasting this center to get them out of there. Oh, I think we've got the elephants closing in. They are moving in single file. What is this? What is this? Huh. Let's not try to provoke them just yet. So I don't have to move that much further to actually be starting targeting towards the center. The thing is, I'm worried about additional reinforcement over here. But it would be quite nice if I could get plenty of troops up there. You know what we'll do? These three... I have plenty of sepoys. We're not going to get that much enemies over there. Let's send all six units up to control that as just a precautionary no actually I'll send the cavalry here now as well and then we'll advance these to take up the defense right in front with two supporting in the back where I could actually have one of those retreat up the hill be able to shoot above given that the enemy is now moved inside but I still want to protect my flank we're gonna move like that and then we're gonna have the cavalry like that so looks nice move the howitzers further forward We're going to be as close as we can be before opening fire. Yeah, I can kind of reach here, what it looks like. They sent one horse bowman out through that side. I should be, according to this, I should be able to reach quite a bit in here. We can force them out. It's not that great with the um, the hill falling down like this. But I'm thinking... What if I do like this? With two units like that. One of the East India Company... Actually, one East India... The East India Company should be on the hill, shouldn't it? That's probably the best. And then be able to fire above the two sepoys. The one sepoy on the flank with one... East India on the flank like that. Oh, shh, crap. Completely missed with it. Horse bowmen. They're dying really quickly, though. They rode straight into these two units. 
Maybe I shouldn't have started targeting these guys before I was completely ready. Sipos to the front. Cavalry to the rear. I'm pretty sure we'll be able to slaughter the horsemen just by the look of it. Firing into this, messing them up. The elephants are coming out. Start firing at them. We'll be able to fire at them from multiple angles. Hopefully that should do just fine. Send in the cavalry. I want the sepoy units to hurry forward here so we can fire at the enemy from multiple angles as they come out of the fort. East India Company to the front. Okay, the elephants get nowhere near the line. They all get slaughtered way before they get close to the line. No chance. No chance. Come on, kill those bloody bowmen already. And then the two sepoy units are about ready to come up here. Add to the carnage. We got Bengal Lancers and Pindar Heavy Cavalry. Pindarl Heavy Cavalry. Heavy focus on this unit here. Thing is, we've got perfect targets by the sides. It's a death trap for the cavalry. And also, they're not sending nearly enough cavalry. Are they not dead yet? Two infantry units should leave that fight. What we'll do is have these face this way and then these two broken units or slightly less uh, fresh units open fire damn you okay now they're attacking over here however units from up here is firing in Ooh, it's a slaughter. But the Indian cavalry continues to come in. Oh, there... It's good that I set these troops up in the fashion I did. Let's move you slightly like that so you're able to fire into the flank. Hold fire for now. You'll move up as reserve, and I think the other sepoy unit might just be able to take position here. On the hill. And fire from over there. And then this might, not, might very well need cavalry support. Because that regiment's not doing well. I think once this one starts to open fire, that will help. But I'll try to trade this move this unit out while having the cavalry then move into the fight more and more cavalry units are oh, now they hit the second unit as well and the sepoy is down to about half strength at this point we'll have to turn this unit around because they've broken through and at this point they're they're through to almost the third line Okay, the cavalry is now in. Oof, this unit's l only a hundred men strong at this point. These guys were a tough bunch. Takahili cavalry. Only a hundred men left in this unit. More cavalry coming in. The bowmen. Move, reset, set up, and prepare. Let's see, now these guys are getting shot from both sides. Unfortunately, my East India Company is caught right in between all of that. 
and gets cut down. But so is the Indian cavalry. Uh, we're, we're not prepared to stop the Indian cavalry charge over here. However, those hundred survivors are able to inflict... Ooh. They almost kill 150 men in that initial charge. And I don't think my two cavalry units are doing too well against uh, this unit. Currently, we're not actually seeing any fighting coming from within side. I'm going to turn this unit around and see if I can fire onto these. We're definitely going to need more men to fire into this mess. Oh, there are, there's more troops. Musketeers. Pikemen. Looks like the horsemen, though, the bowmen, are breaking apart. Ah, oh, shit. Arabian cow... Camels. I'm gonna order you to open fire on the camels. Shit, these two units need to be saved. Cavalry, move in to over here. And then I want the two infantry units over here move to try and move to safety. This will hold to hold fire while these two try to move behind cover. And we'll try to hold on here. I'm gonna have to move you to this side now. So the two East India Company units made it. But there's a risk of them being absolutely destroyed. So I'm gonna send them all the way back here. I'm gonna move the general in. There's not much left on my cavalry either. They need to be moved. Oh, here comes all the Hindu musketeers and crap. Hold your fire. All of these have to turn around. Still have four regiments here. Hopefully that's enough. At the same time, my howitzers have been bombarding the center. Without much luck, I must say. Okay, the Arab cavalry was moved away. We've got pikemen, Hindu musketeers. And then we have a general. Okay, Hindu musketeers coming in. Move the sepoys closer so that they can target the musketeers. The pikemen is going to be something else to deal with. I'm gonna set up these in preparation. Actually both of these should be set up something like this. Where the pikemen are going. Okay, they're charging now. And Hindu Musketeers moving to the walls. Okay, I'm gonna leave the sepoys up to do that. And what are we going to pull this one back here? As we do that. Wait, 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 hold. Okay, now. Open fire on the pikemen. You're going to be able to fire from the cover back here. And we're going to be able to hopefully break that pike formation and then put more than enough muskets on the Hindu musketeers. Pikemen getting destroyed at the same time I notice cavalry fight over here. Oh, it's those nasty cavalries. Ooh, these two units have suffered a lot. I didn't even notice this. You will also return to the center. As another bloody elephant going in. Back to over here. The pikemen were sent away. 
push out in force against the Hindu musketeers. We're gonna have to do something here to really destroy them. I'm gonna move the uh, howitzer closest to to destroy the center in preparation of that. I'm gonna move troops closer on that on all sides. Cavalry is surrounded. I'm going to move my infantry out of there. I'm going to move these two like that instead. You will be pushed into the fight. And then instead, the th these three smaller units will just be set around the hill. Howitzers. We need to get closer. About there, I think, could work. We haven't won this fight yet. Hmm. Step aside and let the cavalry out. And then we'll have the cavalry charge them. Oh, because you're not firing properly. And you're not, like, joining in the fight either. Well, now it's too late for you to fire. Just move forward. As our Sepoy Cavalry charges the very thin line of Hindu Musketeers, breaking it in two. Infantry following up. Gonna be able to shoot them down afterwards. Oh, shit. Elephants. This unit. Hurry to over there. You need to turn around. I think it's kind of unnecessary for you to fire it that way. We'll hold for now. Let's see how is our howitzers are in place. Oh no, continue. Don't shoot at my own units. Alright, let's see the two stronger units. We'll turn around, join here, while a smaller one will stay with the cavalry on the flank. Plenty of fire going in now. 17 sepoys sent away. But an absolute slaughter of those elephants. 28 over there. My cavalry is doing just fine. I think that's the end of... Uh, enemy reinforcements I want to see um, yeah that was one of the problems here with I think they were aiming at the closest unit and that's why they hit the wall but now when I've tar targeted the backside here we should be able to get good shots in on the center lasting the Indians to pieces. So we've got one Hindu musketeer on the wall. Not too interested to fight him right now. Right, we won that fight. And you have rallied. Move back. Cavalry move over here. I'm going to have to soften this bit up quite a bit. If I want to get inside. Because, uh, I mean, we've suffered... A lot. All units are still on the field. We've su suffered a lot of casualties, especially if I try to try and take on the wall. It's a very interesting intercept battle, isn't it? Because the Indians, I mean, not really intercepting, are they? Not that I'm complaining right now, as they're just uh, being uh, target practice for my cannons. If it is, we do need to plan for how to deal with them in case they're not actually too interested to fight with us at all. As much as I would want to sit here and just shoot at them, we might have to go inside and deal with them. 
And thing is, right now, it's like a just perfect angle to get there. But if they get closer to the wall, artillery cannot help my men. So that will be a problem. So I'm kind of wondering here. We should um, attack multiple walls. These units will be set to attack this wall. While this army, what's left of it, will attack this wall. I have two smaller units. They could do a cheeky climb on this side, just so that they can let these two cavalry units inside. And as we're doing all this planning and maneuvering, the Indians are dying in the hundreds due to these very effective and nasty explosive shots. Let's go ahead and speed this up. This battle has almost lasted for a half an hour, so it's a very long battle. You know what? Let's speed this up. I want to have everyone run to positions. Cavalry set up here and behind. It's going to take a while for us to get this underway anyways. So I might as well do it this way. And then have the troops stand resting for a while where they are while we continue to inflict damage on the Indian troops inside. I'm gonna find... I think that's gonna be a pretty darn nice target. And then somewhere over there... Wait. Troops getting in positions. Super bloody battle this one. But maybe I'm uh, maybe I'm lucky that they are uh, stationary in a fort. I mean, if you can imagine all that cavalry in a field battle, where all of them attack simultaneously against the line, or similar like something similar to that effect, you can imagine the kind of damage and absolute destruction they would do to my army. I definitely need to. Uh, probably need to look over the cavalry that I'm using for my army because uh, my native Indian cavalry isn't really doing it, it, are they? They're not really able to do the kind of damage that I need them to do. Even with the destruction I've done to this army right here, I'm still kind of hesitant of moving on the walls. Because these are some mighty melee fighters. What do we have out here? That's a general. You know what? I think mo most of these troops are now down to about 100 men. There's two units really that still fit for fight. My sepoys will climb the wall and prepare for the East India Company to breach the gate. And we'll do similarly on this side. And we'll prepare to breach the gate. And we'll have these two small units ready going in this side. Some enemy units have reacted to this. And I'm moving towards the gate. Are we gonna have time to uh, set these two units up if they're gonna? There go opens the gate. They're still running around in the center, right in the target zone for my artillery. All right, let's see. They're climbing. Oh, they're running out. So the uh, Indo musketeers are running out to fight us. Let's. Uh, Move the units slightly to get a better angle at fighting at these. And as these are climbing, that should do just fine. Oh shit, they're coming out this way? Why on earth would they be going this way? 
do it like that with cavalry moving this way. So far, surprised they haven't been able to claim the wall. Yeah, the fire from these push the enemy back inside. I'm surprised that we haven't been able to capture the walls. Open fire. And the cavalry attack. You know what? Rather than have you shoot over there, that's probably not going to work out too well. Same over here. You'll pull back and fight. As we're not able to push in, maybe I should move the cavalry over here. Why am I not claiming these walls? There's nothing in the center. Come on, get up on the wall. Why am I not... ...claiming these walls? Ah, that unit was sent away. These guys are climbing. I don't know if my cavalry is doing too well in this fight. I'll hold them on just for a little while longer. Why is the gatehouse not claimed? Why is not a single gatehouse claimed when I've got plenty enough troops up here? This wall in particular, I've got tons of troops. Just claim the bloody wall and let me, let me in, let me in, you bastards. I was hoping you'd set up along the wall to fire on them. Okay, I'm going to pull away the cavalry now. Not even this wall. We've got plenty more troops here. Fine, fight them then, if that's what you want. Yeah, the cavalry fight over there didn't go too well. I'm going to send the other cavalry over here. And we're going to see if that helps, maybe. Now we've claimed the wall. Which one? Yes! The one that I wanted. East India Company through that wall. Move quickly to the other side. hard fighting on the walls that unit is slowly being oh they're climbing down and as they're climbing down I'm shooting them so they're falling onto the ground and then some of my sepoys are down stabbing them down here Uh, told the howitzers to hold fire as my cavalry charge goes in. And then the flank charge goes in right after. And that breaks them. Good. My two East India companies get stuck in the gate. Tons of enemies to block them. But now my sepals on the wall have opened fire. So that's good. 95 left here, so they're not doing too well in their fight. 30 enemies over here. Now we're getting plenty of fire out of these. But really what I would need is to for them to fire on that unit down there. Let's see. 74. Come on. Any more gates? No, we've only got one gate. Now you're running. This is so much more bloody than... God damn it. Move to here. Then move down. You can maybe shoot and... You know what? These two might still be able to. I mean, that's 600 men should be able to push through here just by the sheer number of things. The 
Okay, so one will stay and fight, and the other one will push through towards the flag. And I want you to move down over here. And now you're retreating. No any good targets really for the howitzer currently. Okay, I've taken the center. You should set up along this line like that. A hundred versus six. Forty-five thirty against that three hundred seventy-one. Hold your fire, but now I want you to move out of the sun, out of the way. Okay, that is not helping. Move out of the way and let you open fire. I'd imagine the uh, enemy army would give up at this point just because I'm such such overwhelming numbers against them. Come on, claim another bloody gate. Why aren't you firing? There we go. You'll set up over here. And fire on the Indians. Oh, now, now we've got a complete break. Now we've got a complete break. Nice. There, they've realized the fort has fallen. And victory is mine. Took me long enough, though. 35 minutes to the looks of it. Damn. Long battle. Heavy casualties. Heavy casualties on both sides. Did I lose a unit? It kind of looks like it. Um, did I have anyone that lost remaining? Here's one that only has 39. That one could definitely have been destroyed then. 44. Yeah, 39, it might... Yeah, one Sepoy unit was destroyed. Oh, and it was one with... No, it, it gained that much. So it wasn't the one that had that much. Very low numbers on some of these units. The 39, I guess under 40 would mean... Yeah, that would be too low. Howitzer is killing thousands of troops. C points 500, 600, so on. Nasty as hell. Total numbers 6,000 on our side. Almost 4,000 lost, leaving about 2,000. Enemy deploying 7,000 men, losing 6,500, almost 6,600, leaving only about 500 left. Such a slaughter. Almost 10,000 men are left on the field. Actually, more than 10,000 men are left on the field. Huge and costly battle. However, we stand victorious. And the fort lies open for us to capture it. Got remnants of war elephants over here. And the general. And a little melee unit. Just note that it's the 123rd regiment recruited by the Mughal Empire. Has retreated to the Pleasure Gardens. Right after leaving Hyderabad to be conquered by us. There is four units, what it looks like. The little spawn and garrison. I'll probably have to play the battle when I actually take it. By next time we should have advanced further here. And then also I should have been able to attack and take here. Not entirely sure what the next battle is. But with all of this, and given that it was such a long battle... I'll say as I always say, hopefully you guys enjoyed it, and hopefully I'll see you guys for the next one. Bye.